We're emphasizing fundamentals, uh, finishing every play, uh, taking advantage of the opportunities, uh, and being just fundamentally sound. You know, it's uh, football is a game of you know, possession of the ball, not turning it over. Uh, I, I just shared with uh, with Billy. He uh, said, so, you know, uh, pretty uh, pretty darn good football coach named Nick Saban says he wants every drive on the offensive side to finish in a kick, and, and that's the way it should be. You know. Turnovers really uh, put you in a tough situation. So we're taking care of the ball, being fundamentally sound, uh, and finishing every play. And, and uh, I think the senior leadership that we've had with this group has, has really been tremendous from January on up to this point. And we're really relying on those guys to bring the younger guys along in the program to let them know what it's all about and what the expectations are. Uh, right now, we're looking to go out each week and uh, get a win. I mean, uh, our offense is looking real sharp this uh Preseason, we got a lot of guys returning. Uh, our whole O line, uh, deep receiving core with veterans and uh, starting quarterback coming back, and uh, we're looking to see big things from the offense this year. Uh, what are we going to see out of the receivers this year that has you excited? Well, the receivers, uh, there's a lot of veterans coming back. Um, you know, I'm looking for a big year from them. Uh, they're the type of guys, every single one of them, I throw the ball in their vicinity, they're going to go up and catch it. They're going to fight for the ball. So, uh, big things for them. Uh, certainly, technology's changed. Obviously, with the information world, uh, contacting folks, you know, whether it's with you know text messaging, with, with Twitter, whatever it might be, those things have changed. But I, you know, kids still want discipline. They want to work hard. Uh, you know, they want to work and do the right things. Uh, they want to be surrounded by guys who believe in what they're doing. And you know, the team concept will always be the most important priority for us. And that's not going to change. Uh, the discipline. Uh, you know, we expect guys to do the right things, I and mean, those things I don't think have changed very much at all. Um, and particularly here, I mean, we've emphasized the same kinds of things over. It's all about the team uh, and, and doing the right things both on and off the field, being involved in a community. All those things re really haven't changed much for us at all. Personally, he uh, was part of my recruiting process. Uh, he's a great guy. He cares about your academics. He cares about the team more than coaches that I found during the recruiting process. So. I found that it's a good kind of level person to have. He's a good level person to have as a head coach, which helps a lot. Um, to kind of bounce out the other coaches, and it kind of keeps things going steady. I love that the college is surrounded by the community. Uh, you know, we're not isolated someplace. Uh, guys can be active on campus, but they can be active in community service activities and a short walk away, internship opportunities. Um, Carlisle offers so many different uh, unique opportunities, and we talk about this in the recruiting process. Having the, the county seat here, guys can be involved in government with internships with judges, the War College, uh, and kids have done internships there as well, and having the law school. We have a Big Ten law school in a community of about 30,000 people. Uh, not many places, I don't think any place in the country can say that, so the opportunities are, are really important. And then we're not far from Harrisburg, so and being part of this community I think is really important from a college perspective, but guys can get involved in the community, and I think that's important too. I like the food. Uh, any place that you can go is pretty good, so Messina's is probably the spot to be. Uh, I would have to go with Billy on the food, but I, I would say probably diner and uh, gingerbread man. And your go-to meal at the diner? Uh, chicken ranch wrap. Uh, Carl, the diner is uh, definitely a great spot to eat. Uh, really like that. And uh, it's just got a great uh, home atmosphere. Favorite meal at the diner? Favorite meal is the Carlisle Feast, which is uh, a couple pancakes, which I put chocolate chips in, uh, too hard with cheese, and uh, toast and home fries. Does Coach Bro know you eat all those chocolate chip pancakes? Oh, uh, that's in the off season. Oh. <laughs>